cold and snow. That's what we've been getting in my area recently. It's been like anywhere from negative 15 to zero degrees and we've been getting a lot of snow, but that's okay. Good for snowmobilers and definitely good for ice fishing. So this weekend, fishing was good. Fishing was real good. I still have to clean them up. Uh, you can see down here, we got some, we got a little walleye and we got a bunch of crappies. It's, it's a little gory, but I got them on snow. I got them on ice. I'm gonna clean them up here after we shoot some of this, but fishing has been good. A lot of crappies. So over the weekend, when I was out in the permanent shack doing some winter camping, some mail came in and some big mail. I don't know if you know what that is, but this package here weighs 58 pounds and this package here weighs 32 pounds. And I'm freaking excited to open them up. So the ice shanty is currently parked in my driveway, but I think if we've owned it for under two weeks, I think I've slept in this thing 10 nights already. And it's basically been my home away from home. The coolest thing we did this weekend with it is uh, Steph's family. They own permanent ice shacks too. We all brought them to one lake and it was kind of like a family camping thing, except on the ice. We had little kids ripping around in here. There's mini donuts flying everywhere. We slept five deep on the bed. It was like Steph, me, all our little cousins. It was, it was awesome, total blast. My parents stopped on out, my good buddy Corey stopped out, we played cribbage, and just needless to say, we're making a lot of memories. We're making a ton of memories in the ice chamber. Another new addition to the ice shanty. This is a Dollar General broom. Uh, Steph got it for a dollar and we have been sweeping this thing and keeping it clean. This is, this is our second home, so we take a lot of pride in, in treating this house the way it should be treated. It's hot in here. Besides, obviously, a lot of videos and iPhone pictures, um, my parents brought out an old Polaroid camera, so it was pretty cool. We were playing with that, and it's a camera I'd like to keep in the fish house and uh, if a big fish gets caught or there's new friends in the house, I'd like to kind of mark the date. I need a permanent marker and I can date it. And then just kind of put these all around the fish house. I know it might look a little tacky, but it's nostalgic and I love it. I love an old Polaroid camera. So some other new discoveries or updates with the ice shanty. Um, discovery number one, this thing is extremely warm. Uh, the previous owner, he spray foamed the bottom of this and obviously it does have normal insulation in the walls, but we camped in this in negative 27, and I think we had the heater on low, we had the windows cracked, and this thing was warm. It was very warm. Something else cool we realized, uh, we normally have this like as a table. This folds up to be a table, and there's a little bench here, a little bench here. Uh, we decided we can make it just a bench, take the cushions from the top bunk right up here, and we can turn it into a little couch. So when we had little kids in here and just multiple people in here, this was kind of a fun way to host a lot of people in the back while still keeping this fully open for fishing. This weekend was also the first time we really tried the TV. I had my personal hotspot hooked up to there. Uh, we had generators running. I plugged the TV into the outlet and we extended the bed all the way and we had a movie party with a bunch of the kids. It was cool. It's, <laughs> it's not how I've ever really been ice fishing before, but it was fun. Um, another addition, we got a Keurig machine so we can have a cup of coffee in the morning.
All right, so a segment kind of on the channel I'm, I'm integrating is I'm going to do kind of baits of the week, maybe rod of the week too. Uh, I did it in the last video and a lot of comments were very positive. I just talk about a couple of baits that worked really well over the weekend and why I think they worked well. I basically have them all right down here. Uh, same as last weekend, the blade spoon on the rattle reels worked really well. And the set lines too, it's what we caught the walleye on. Uh, for bigger crappies, this is just a very light fire tiger leech flutter spoon put a minnow head on that sucker and that worked really well and what probably worked the best for the crappies and the gills all weekend was the half ant drop i don't know if they're more on bugs now or they just like this profile but this 132nd ounce half ant drop kind of took the cake all weekend besides that since we've done a lot of fishing out of our permanent shack and other people's permanent shacks recently um the rod of choice has been the little nude it's just a tiny little rod what is it it's uh 25 inches it's a noodle fast it's a great panfish rod and it's great for when you're fishing in close quarters like a permanent shack this one's very open but others others are even tighter so you're kind of closer over top of the hole this rod is perfect for that and it's really nice for sight fishing too we've been doing some sight fishing out of the portable where we'll drill kind of a, a mickey mouse ears hole and we'll sit right over top of it and this rod's nice and short you kind of have full control over your line and your bait and you can fish really close quarters. So I'll link all those baits down below and I'll link the little nude by 2B. Awesome rod. All right, box number one. Boxes inside a box. Box number two, this is 58 pounds. <laughs> this is a freaking gyno. This is a 12 volt, 200 amp hour Dakota lithium frickin' truck of a battery. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this big. Yeah, things are, uh, things are getting serious quick. So before I go into more detail, kind of about what this stuff is, and before we open up the last package, um, I'm just gonna show you inside here. This is kind of like my little electronics cabinet. Uh, inside here, I have a Dakota Lithium power box. I've had this for about four years, maybe. It's pretty beaten and broken. It still works great. There used to be lights on the front of it. I've brought this thing, I don't know, to seven states and probably charged it and recharged it a thousand times. Definitely more than, yeah, probably more than a thousand times. I use it to charge phones. I use it to run my cameras. I use it in the spring, the fall, the summer. This, is, this has been kind of the only product I've really ran from Dakota Lithium besides big batteries in my boat. And it's been, it's been a powerhouse. Besides that, I got a 12 volt, 23 amp Dakota Lithium battery. This is kind of my fail safe I bring with me. I've jumped cars with this. I've ran fish houses with this. I've, I've done a little bit of everything with this battery, but this is one I always keep charged. It's really light. It's really compact. And that's been kind of my fail safe battery. If any large battery ever dies, I have this. Which brings us to the final package. I ordered this stuff from Dakota Lithium, I think the day after I bought the ice shanty and it's just arriving now. And it's like, this has been kind of an idea I had to put on a permanent fish house for some time. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be extremely difficult to kind of install it or get it rigged up. But if you're going way off grid, I feel like this right here plus this will equal great success.
Okay, it doesn't take a genius to know that this is probably a giant solar panel. Um, I have not done a ton of research on these. I don't know anybody that has these. So my opinion going into all of this and kind of my, uh, I guess my feedback that I'll give once these are all rigged up, it'll be, it'll be pretty pure because I'm not a solar panel guy. I don't know much about them. But I do think this is going to make a huge difference in my power game. And especially if I don't want to bring a generator. So even though the package said fragile, this is meant for some rugged outdoor use. This is a flexible solar panel from Dakota Lithium. And I am going to be very careful with it. But I just kind of want to see what it looks like. This is bad to the bone. Look how thin that is. This does not look like solar panels back in the early 2000s. This thing is basically as thin as just a tiny little piece of plexiglass. So my thought process behind this right now is uh, all the electricity inside this ice shanty is run off of like one 12 volt deep cycle battery. Uh, it looks like it's a battery from AutoZone, whatever. Um, and that's fine, but you lose power quick, especially if you plug in phones or you have your lights running or I have all my lights around my holes running or if I turn on the TV or run a Keurig or run the fan. Like if I'm spending days and days on end, uh, I either need to be plugged into a generator for a large majority of the time just to kind of repower that battery and just run power off of that or I could mount these solar panels on top of my ice shanty and then anytime the sun's out, I'm just recharging my battery and I'm just gaining power and maintaining power. Once I get her juiced up and I bring it outside, I feel like it's never going to go down. I feel like I could run a lot of stuff on this. So two solar panels and a freaking ginormous Dakota lithium battery. Things are getting real serious. All right, wait a minute. We haven't even opened up the box that was inside the box. <laughs> so this is the inverter. <laughs> wow, this thing is a freaking unit. So in layman's terms, I think from that big battery to this, that's what's gonna change that power into AC 110 volts. So yeah, surprisingly, it's actually fairly light. Looks like it has nice brackets on the side that you can mount this anywhere. If a person like wanted to trick out their camper, their ice shanty, uh, their truck, their van to live out of and get wicked power, this is, this is the ticket. So right after I bought the ice shanty, I called my buddy Stormy because he knows everything about kind of the off-grid solar technology and lithium batteries. He just, he knows a lot more than I do. And I, I basically said, what do I need to order? He sent me a full list and I bought it all. And <laughs> now I'm freaking set. The over there is just storage. And then under this bench is my battery and on-bank charger. This is what I'm working with. Um, yeah, so just right now I have a very generic onboard charger you can put this in a boat and it'll charge your battery and i just have one deep cycle 12 volt battery so i'm basically having to either run a generator all the time to kind of i guess recharge this back up or just plug it into the house every time i'm here to give it a good charge but then i don't know my max capacity on how long i could run just on this but if i only have one old school deep cycle 12 volt battery i maybe a night or six hours i need to be able to run for a couple days so this shack may be a 2010 but we are going to trick it out like no freaking other solar panels powerhouse battery giant inverter i am very 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 excited about all this this is all very new to me and hopefully this is kind of a brand new chapter of off-grid winter camping permanent shack ice fishing and spending more time living on the lake so I appreciate it. Thank you guys for the positive feedback. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get this installed within the week and then give you my feedback, whether that be positive or negative. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. I guess there's nothing left to be said. And stay tuned. And as always, 